Right after we won the European Inventor Award of 2017, we were invited to attend live the launch of the Galileo satellite. It was a spectacular experience to be allowed to experience live the launch of Ariane 5, carrying on board the satellites that just a few weeks later would be transmitting from space the very same signals that some years ago we had developed and had been drawing on a serviette in a Washington restaurant. The story starts in 2004 in a restaurant in Washington. Scientists from Europe have traveled here to talk about the future of European satellite navigation with their American colleagues. But the negotiations are a failure for the Europeans. That same evening, they discuss what to do next. From the start, we wanted to develop signals that were useful to the users for the next 20 years. Our ambition was to develop a system that would be the best for the next decades, not just as good as GPS, which was our main competitor at that time, but better. The five researchers have to ensure that Europe can build its own system of satellite navigation in orbit. Galileo, they are the waveform sculptors. They designed the signal for the Galileo satellite navigation system. Bonjour. Je suis Jean-Luc Isler, je suis de France. Me llamo José Ángel Ávila Rodríguez, soy español. Ich bin Günther Hayden, ich bin Deutsche. Bonjour, je suis Laurent Lestarki, je suis français. Je suis Lionel Ries, je suis belge. Without the work of these five men, Europe may not have been able to reach for the stars. We had to sculpt a superior signal that nobody would believe to be possible. And finally, we successfully designed signals having an unsurpassed accuracy. Already, they are more accurate than all the other satellite navigation systems in the world. The robustness and the positioning accuracy of Galileo first generation is already the best one, but it will be again improved thanks to a new positioning service so-called the high accuracy positioning service. The accuracy will be better than 20 centimeters. Galileo is currently at the initial operation capability stage with 22 active satellites in orbit and is already used by 1.5 billion users worldwide. At the moment, we are again scripting the future with the finalization of the data message improvement for the current generation of Galileo in order to provide the full services. We greatly contributed to the development of the Galileo first generation from the beginning. And now that the system is already providing initial open services, we have already started to work on the next generation. The Galileo second generation satellites will be launched somewhere beyond 2024 and will transmit signals that will be up in the skies until mid of the 21st century. Since one of us has a crystal ball, Galileo's second generation has to be built, to be flexible and to be robust. Flexible in order to accommodate the needs of the users in about 30 or 40 years and robust to withstand the challenges of a changing world like unintended and intended interferences and cybercrime. The new system will be backward compatible. Digitalization will play a major role in terms of adaptability and applications. The new services of Galileo first generation will show very some significant progress in terms of accuracy, also in terms of authentication to reach the full operational capability. Galileo second generation will be a significant step forward the works are going on, but it is too soon to speak about it more. For their patented inventions for the first generation signal of Galileo, the five were awarded the European Inventor Award in 2017. Galileo is a European success story. This year, 2020, has clearly shown how fundamental it remains to be for a society in general to be able to depend on your own means, on your own capabilities, when it comes to providing services to the citizens. That's exactly the same reason why we continue to work to improve the Galileo first generation now towards the next step. 
There are two main reasons why it was the right way for Europe to build its own satellite navigation system. First of all, we needed our own satellite navigation system under our own control, a system that would break the monopoly of the previous GNSS systems. And secondly, there's so much high-tech manufacturing involved in satellite navigation, and there's no better place to do that than in Europe. It really is a space project for every citizen. Technology that affects everyone, not only when they navigate with their phones. GNSS is a fundamental backbone of modern society. When making a phone call, for example, the base stations are synchronized by GNSS. It's used in the critical infrastructure of every country. It impacts every business. And therefore, it's vital that European countries have access to their own satellite navigation system. The European Commission recently announced that it will accelerate its investment in launches, space exploration, and the implementation of the second generation navigation satellites to ensure European space sovereignty. Galileo is the centerpiece of this sovereignty and is set to become the most modern GNSS in the world. Bigger now, being able to provide the elementary part of such a system. I hope we will be able to experience the launch of the first satellites of the second generation, at this time transmitting the new signals that will be up in the sky for the next 50 years of global satellite navigation made in Europe.